So, welcome back to another match day experience, the final match day experience of the season. I don't quite know where this season has gone. Um, it literally feels like yesterday since I was on the train down to Fulham for that first game of the season and celebrating that Nelson Oliveira goal and the expectation was was so high and the energy was so good at that point and it's been a real roller coaster of a season. I can remember standing outside of Brentford at home on the 23rd of December. It was freezing cold um, and we'd just been defeated. I think it was 2-1, wasn't it? And that point was, was a really low feeling because I was so behind this project. I was so behind Farka, so behind Weber. But I looked at that team and thought, what can you do with this? There is no way we can move forwards. Thankfully, since that point, it's got a little better. We've seen the lows of Millwall, 4-0 away. That was crushing. Chris has seen 4 uh, one away at QPR. There's been some real low points, but we've had Tim Close against Ipswich. We had that magical run where we had, I think, was it was it 10 clean sheets in a row? It's been a very interesting season, but today is the final game of, or the final home game, I should say, of the season. It's Leeds United at home, which always is a good game. Leeds always bring a good following, good club, good fans. Um, not so good on the pitch this season. Likewise to us, they've got exactly the same amount of points. The big thing though is of course Wes Houlihan. It's his final game in a Norwich City shirt. 352 appearances later, 10 years down the line, he's finally calling it a day at Norwich City. This is a man who I've, well, I've seen from start to finish. He's kind of, you know, he came onto the scene just when I was really getting into football in Norwich City and he leaves the scene 10 years later. So many magical moments. It's been such a joyous time watching Wes Houlihan and I feel very grateful to have lived through and watched his career pan out. Um, he's a wonderful player. He's a wonderful man. He lives just down the road. He's always in. Um, I say always in. He's not always in. He's not always on the booze, but he's in one of the pubs just down the road quite a bit and the locals always say what a top, top man he is. So I'm kind of emotional. I feel a bit weird about it. I'm really looking forward to the game. I'm just looking forward to a game with meaning because there hasn't been that for a little while. I'm also not looking forward to the thought of Norwich City without Wes Houlihan because it kind of is the end of an era. You know, holty has gone, Lambert's gone, Houlihan now goes. It's the end of that really special time in Norwich City. So, you know, things move on. Time relentlessly marches on. And we will be fine without Wes, I'm sure. But he's going to be a big loss. And I think it's going to be a very special atmosphere at Carrow today. Um, and I'm glad that the club have organised a really special day for him. Anyway, I've rambled on far too much. I'm back in England. And typically, the weather is disgusting. Um, but I'm kind of looking forward to it. Um, not the weather, but the game. It's Norwich City, it's Leeds United, it's the final home game of the season, it's the final match day experience of the season. Let's do this. By the way, I stuck a little bet on fans bet today. Wes Houlihan to score and Norwich to win. It was an enhanced bet on uh, the Talk Norwich City specials. It was six to one. I've stuck a tenner on. If that wins, it returns 70 quid. If you don't know who fans bet are, they are a bookmakers, um, you know, your standard online bookmakers, but they are different, so they're not standard. They give back uh, money of losing bets to fan initiatives. They've recently put a ton of money in to the Shrewsbury Safe Standing Initiative. So Shrewsbury now have safe standing. That's cool. That's just one of many initiatives they've done. Hopefully over the coming months and seasons, we'll be doing some really good work with fan initiatives. If you want to get on board, even just make an account and have a weekly flutter on there, a couple of quid, sign up, put Norwich City as your team uh, and talk Norwich City as your sub branch and then any losing bets that you have, a quid, two quid, every little helps in the words of Tesco's, then that money gets reinvested back in to fan initiatives. Fansbet.com, see you there. It's gonna be Wednesday without a pasta bake. Tomato, basil, fresh chicken breast. In there, take it to the ground, lovely. Tuna pasta bake or chicken pasta bake? Comment below, what's your favorite? I think it's also worth noting today that on the 48th minute, I know this is after the game, but we've plugged it on Twitter through, throughout the week on mine, Chris's, Connor's, and Talk Norwich City's accounts that um, Melissa Rudd, who I'm sure a lot of you know, regularly writes for the EDP, worked for Sky Sports. Um, I was lucky enough to work for a, with her a, with a, for a bit at um, BBC Radio Norfolk. She's a lovely lady, very talented, her dad, 
who I didn't know but was very well known as well amongst the Norwich kind of base. He'd done a lot of hard work, I think with Norwich kind of businesses and small businesses, tragically passed away. He was only 48 years old. So there's a, um, an applause on the 48th minute today. Hopefully that goes well. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a day of goodbyes today, isn't it? Which is, is very sad, but um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a strange one. N nothing to play for in terms of the game, in terms of league positioning, but probably one of the most meaningful games of the year. First though, I think, one of the best pubs in Norwich. Coaching horses for a pint of beer. See Russ back from Rangers once again, supporting the boys on. Chris, nice shirt, mate. Where'd you get that from? Old school merch, that. I love it, mate. I love it. Chris, you've been the man on the on the Norwich floor the last couple of weeks. Talk to me about Cardiff briefly. Mate, honestly, I thought we actually played some decent stuff. I thought, in fairness, Daniel Park was right. But I think, you know, when, you, when you're level at home against the team, no matter how good they are, you've got to bring it to them. You've got to give it to them. And, and we, we did what we've done a lot of the times this season. We played some great stuff. We looked like we could nick it. They go and score. Game over. And their second goal was class though. It was very good. Today, Wes Day, you've been yeah. the man that's probably spoke the most about Wes this season. You I'm must be good. gutted. Yeah, I am, yeah. I don't think he should be going. I definitely think he's gone. Is it nice to bow out on a high though? Uh, yeah, but I think, uh, I don't, would you class not being in the squad as a high? Look, I'm going to be respectful today, but what I will say is, I don't think, look, I, I don't think Wes has been treated properly this season, and I personally think, it's, it, why are we only doing this now? The guy's class, he should have had the floor this all season long. I certainly think he's got another season left in him. I'm gutted that he's going, but as you say, Jack, maybe it is right. Let's not forget, the likes of Wes, Russ, Naismith, Jarvis. These are all people that are on Premier League bucks. Tete as well, Premier League bucks. Maybe we just have to. Um, but no, no, I just I just want to say that Wes Hulahan is the best player I've ever seen play for Norwich City, ever. Better than Hux? Yeah, 100%. Sorry, Hux. He is, yeah. he is, but Hux would say that himself. You know, what Wes has done. Quickly, play of the season. Third place of the player of the season goes to Angus Gunn. That shows what how hard the star has been this season. There's been some quality star performers. Angus takes third place. He's had a fantastic season. Well done, Angus Gunn. Third place, the player of the season. Hanley gets second place. I think it was Grant Hanley. What a legend, Bill the Statue, Hall of Fame. Giving peace to the city, Grant Hanley, legend. Player of the season is going to be James Madison. What a player! This could be the last we see him at Carrow. What a pleasure he's been this season. James Madison. 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 So once again, a fantastic following from Leeds today. Chris, you don't like Leeds, though, do you? You you, you still hold Janssen, but you don't like no, Leeds. I like Leeds. I hate Pontus Janssen. Why? Because he jumped two footed into a disabled fan. You hear it every week. It's true. I don't know why people have to hold him accountable for it. It's disgusting. But if you were that Leeds disabled, if you were that disabled fan, you would be buzzing. Just no, scored a last minute winner. No. I'd see the shit. Have you got a coffee? Nice. Chris, score prediction. 2-1. Where's your hand winner? 3-0 Norwich. <laughs> I'm confident. I'm confident. I've got to give it to Leeds. Nothing to play for. Always follow their team. Home and away. Fair play to them. Well in the Leeds. Here we go then. Where's Sulahan's final game for Norwich City? Call you boys!
used to quite like Leeds until I saw that goalkeeper kit. What on earth is that? That is questionable. Deary me. It's like he's lost the shorts to it. Terrible. I want very few things from this life. Today I want a Wes goal. Please. Come on, Wes. Let's do this. Come on. Far drier than we are, Manson. That was in the mystic prediction, wasn't it? Waste to score. It was written in this. Yeah. We're pretty useless, though, aren't they? I can't believe we've not had a single shot on target in half an hour all game. I don't know. Does that count as a shot on target? Yeah. Again, just this uh, extra pass in the final third. We've been like it all season. We have to do something different next year. We need to sign some players that have the ability to deliver that final product and have the ability to play in the third. Because Mo, he's not even getting on the pitch because he can't. And to be fair to me, they're playing some good football. 48 minute applause. Leeds fans as well. Bad play. That's good piece. We're winning, we're winning. Come on. Where's with the assist? Was it Wes? Where's with the assist? Come on, turn this around. 2 1 to the Norwich. Much better second half defensively. We've looked poor, but come on. 2 1. Once again, Leeds, Leeds are falling apart again. Leeds, Leeds are falling apart again. Woo! Just don't think you're son. Straight to the on, start a bright gun. We've got a guess and go. We've got a guess and go. Just don't think you're son. Straight to the on, start a bright gun. We've got a guess and go.
We've got Angus to go. We've got Angus. Angus to go. Just a big gun star. Say someone, son of a gun. We've got Angus to go. We've got Angus. Angus to go. Just a big gun star. My fat one. We're bringing back more on of the match. We're bringing it back. It goes to this kid. Just here. More on of the match winner. 2018. Welcome to the party. Daddy, help him out, Daddy. Oh, man. Oh. Cry in a minute. He's going to cry in a minute. Cry in a minute. He's going to cry. Woo. Legends of the match goes to these three. Just here to dance. <laughs> Legends. These kids are nearly as tall as him. What a boy. What a boy. Yes, Wes. No, 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 no. Where's the Ulan? Hey, Ulan! Where's the Ulan? No, 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 no. Ulan! No, 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 no. Wesley! Wesley! You boys! You boys! What a player, what a pleasure it has been to watch that man. What a pleasure it's been to watch James Madison. Boys, we're about to walk this way. Happy Ofo bike. Good win, Chris. Good win. Great win. That seat needs to go up. It's not our hip level. <laughs> Leads are falling apart again. Jesus. Well, the band. See you later, Manson. Good See luck. Later, Carl, good man. See, See you later. later. I think this is the most amount of people I've seen wait. Probably all wait for Hanley, aren't they? Good old boy. God, it does stink a leg, yeah. Christ, it smells. <laughs> so, that was that. You look pretty tan, Jen. Jen, is it? Yeah, we're back from Bali. Did yeah. you enjoy the coup to match the experience? Yes, one of my favourites. We lost on that game. We won today. It was brilliant. It was a great send off for Wes, and I am 70 pounds richer, which is very good. Thanks to fans bet. If any of you placed the Wes Hulahan's having a party bet, then you are also richer because that came in. Fans bet. Links in the description. Um, who was your man on the match today? Wes Hulahan. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was very good. Do you very think, emotional. Do you think, were you emotional? I did feel a bit teary. Because oh, yeah. we've sort of gone through the Norwich City journey together, haven't we? Just yeah. not together, but. No. In the same stance. In the same Sometimes. stance. Right, thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Hit subscribe. Um, just one game left of this season. Where has it gone? Um, thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.